Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the two chests within the Deepstone Crypt solo on each character. Now these are quite important to get because the currency they offer you is called Spoils of Conquest. And for people that are playing solo that might never have done raids, it allows you to get raid exotics from la the last two, two years from a kiosk right, out, right in the tower, right outside the vault. Now the four that are available at the moment are the Anarchy, Taraba, Legend of Accurus, and the always on time Sparrow from Scourge. I think eventually this is where they'll bring in the catalyst that they took away, but it's, it's also really good because you can buy extra stuff at the end of the raid should you want to. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on each character, the setup I used, and little tips and tricks to help you because let me tell you, the hunter is not easy to do. So once you load into the Deepstone Crypt, you'll have to clear some enemies. Then you just head on to where we're gonna do the exploit. Now there is an exploit needed for this because you need to be able to sparrow through the first kind of section without taking any damage. So the idea is you get into this, this kind of aura, this bubble, and you get a, a sheltered buff. When you go outside it, you get a frostbite buff. So what you want to do is park your sparrow on the top step, jump off your sparrow, take the frostbite off you, and then jump back on the sparrow whilst you're still in the, the, the shelter. Now you're immune from the cold. So if you follow with the directions I'm going in, this will take you to the first chest. So you just want to sparrow down here, jump over the first jump, head towards this tower, and then sparrow in between these two rocks, and then we're going to turn a hard right. When you go up this slope, take a hard, stay hard right, and then halfway up, go hard left, because those mines will stop you from jumping. Jump across, you'll see another shelter. Keep going past that until you see this light. Turn left at the light, you'll see another light. Head to that. Turn right and you'll see a tower in the distance. When you're almost at the tower, turn left, you'll see another light. Just kind of glide over these kind of open, these, these uh, crevices and then head over here. When you get to this point, big boost, sparrow over here, do a hard right and head up to this light. Once you hit the light, stay to the edge of these rocks like I'm doing. And, and, and it's just a, a repeatable way so you don't get lost and once... Once you uh, once you get in this little bit here, take your second right. You want to go left when you get in there. Second right, head to this light. And then once you get here, take the second opening. And then jump through this kind of opening in the rock. And that's your first chest. Now it's the same on every character. The reason why I go from light to light is because when the storm is really strong, sometimes you lose your, your way. Uh, it's quite difficult to know where you are. So until you know exactly where you're going... You kind of use those waypoints as your directional uh, map on how to get to the first chest. So that's it. What we're going to do now, so all three characters do the exact same thing. You'll see me changing my loadout here. This is the loadout I'm actually going to do the bit, the jump. Now there is a huge jump needed here. I'm going to speed this up, up a little bit because we're going to head to the first checkpoint. The reason why we're heading to the first checkpoint is because if you fail this jump, you can always reload back in. And you can just keep trying it until you get it. And you can rally a flag. So you'll get your super, you'll get your sword ammo and all the rest of it. Now, there is kind of... This This is where the tricky part comes. Because you have to get out of the map. And there's a little kind of... A little gap above a, above a ledge that you've got to basically land on. Now, the Titan is going to use Middle Tree Striker. And the super is going to get him up there. So we don't have to worry about landing up there. We're going to use the sword anyway. And the line rampant. Because after that there's a really big jump. And that's where the hunter kind of struggles. I've got 90 odd mobility on this. I've got 90 odd on the warlock. I'm going to use top tree dawn blade on the warlock. Sword. No exotics needed. Just top tree dawn blade. With a solar grenade. Because we're going to need rising flames. Rising heat. Is it rising heat? I think it's rising heat. <clears throat> the hunter... The hunter needs a hundred mobility because the hunter has no other tools than the jumps and his super to get him across here. So bottom tree night stalker, stompies, sword, and a hundred mobility is needed on the hunter. Now, <clears throat> once you make that jump up onto that plateau and get over the other side, then there's a huge jump to be made. Once you make the jump, then it's a straight run. I say a straight run, but it's it's quite simple then. To get to the second chest, you just have to follow. It's tricky on the directions as opposed to start with. But once you know exactly where you're going, very easy to get there. It took me maybe two runs to be know off by heart. 
Now, as you can see, we've got the first checkpoint. Now we're heading back the way we came because there's a we've actually passed the point where we need to be. Now, as I say, if you're very confident and you've got your super and you've got your ammo, you could just, you'll see where we're going. We're going to follow this pipe all the way back up. You could just get to that point and just do it. But if you're not confident, come down here and get the checkpoint. Because then if you fail this, you can just go to orbit, load the checkpoint up and you'll load back at, back at that rally flag. Now, <clears throat> the real kind of issue here, as I've already said, is... There is only a little kind of gap you, that you can get onto. The hunter, hunter has the biggest problem with it because he has nothing to help him, or she, he or she, whichever yours is, has no, nothing to help them get on top of it apart from timing. So you've got jump on this light. Now what I try and do is that I don't try and jump right up on it. I try and get my character to mantle it. Pull your sword out and jump all the way up this rock, sword up into the corner, and then you should be able to boost onto this ledge. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to jump up to that plateau and fire with super. And the super takes us up there and right over. Now, when you get up on that plateau, normally you're going to get a turn back kind of thing. Just keep going, get over the other side and drop down here. And when you hit, see this rock, drop down and keep going forward. Now, the titan's going to have to do uh, the sword jump, the sword flying with the line rampant boots. So the way you do that is, you do a single jump. You'll see here, I'm just going to show my setup again, line rampants with catapult jump, which is really important for this jump. And then boost cut off, sword. Boost cut off, sword. That is the, that is the rhythm. Because what the line rampants will do is, because you're not using constant boosts, it will regenerate your boost and you can keep going for as long as you've got sword ammo. So that's really simple on the Titan. On the Warlock, Top Tree Dawn Blade, what we're going to do is we're going to pop with super when we get up here and use the the kind of the super version of the Icarus Dash to get over that ledge. So as you can see, same thing. Sword up here, boost up onto here, pop your super when you're on the ledge, jump up and then double press the red or whatever the dodge button is on your PC or... You know, I, th I think it's the same on PlayStation Red. Just do that and you'll be able to get that no problem. Now, the, the other great thing about these chests, if you've beat the raid, anything you got within the raid can drop from these chests with different roles. So if you've got a spicy weapon or a piece of armor, you can come in and do these chests at your leisure and get a different role on them. So what I'm going to do is a big boost boost outside of the, that kind of rock and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consume my grenade. Now, as you see, I cut my boost off there. Because if you cut the boost off with the warlock and then reboost, you go forward instead of just boosting down slowly. And just keep doing that. Exactly how I done it. Consume your grenade, jump up, and then consume your grenade in the air and use the sword if needs be to, to push you forward. Now this is the difficult one. So what the hunter's got to do, you can see I even struggle to get up here. The hunter's got to jump up at that plateau. That kind of rock face. And when you get right up to the top, you've got a sword to try and land up on it. You see? It's not really difficult, but it might take you a couple of attempts. But this part is where it gets difficult. The hunter isn't built to make jumps like this. So you really got to stretch your jumps out. So you're going to do a single jump, sword, and then heavy attack. So for Xbox, it's basically right shoulder, right trigger. Whatever your heavy attack is for PC, you would do it with that. And I think PlayStation is the right two sh shoulder buttons as well. And really stretch out. You see how I'm not swording straight away. Get three of them out and then pop your super sword. Pop your super sword. That should do it. If you've stretched out those first three jumps, you should make it no problem. And that's that is how you do it. Now what we're going to do is, we're, so we're outside of the map now. Now we've got to get back inside the map. So I'm going to show you the route. It's it's quite, it's not it's not super long, but it's quite long. So we're going to jump up onto this building right in front of us. It will try and push you to the left. Don't worry, you'll still land up here. Head across these white kind of rooftops. And then you want to jump across diagonally left to these next set. And then onto the side of this white building. When you land on the side of the white building, you'll see white square tiles down to your right. We're going to go on top of those, and we're going to jump. There's four of them, so that's one, there's two. Third one's here, and then we're going to jump around the corner to the fourth. 
Now, what the other kind of important thing is you need to have two kind of areas, two, two loading areas. So when you get on this first pipe, we're going to jump on here, and then we're going to jump on this tube, this pipe, slide all the way to the bottom of it, and you will load in the clarity control loading zone. You need that. The next one you need is morning star, but you get that as you're going forward. So once you've got clarity control, you're gonna sort all the way up to the second kind of, the second platform, the second bit you can come out of. Uh, and then once you get up here, you're gonna turn right and jump across these white kind of struts to the pipe on the other side. And then you're just gonna make it all the way to the top and then jump off while you if, even if because you don't get the left hand pipe you can get your bus back on because there's bits you can actually stand on this one you don't so you probably are gonna have to sort all the way up here maybe getting one boost back at a time and then just sort off of here jump up on the edge go to your left and you'll see this white kind of structure jump up on the white structure and then turn around and jump up onto this building head across to you'll see that purple kind of buildings in the distance we're going to head over to them and then straight over them into the dark area just to the top right of our screen now and this is where we're going to get back inside the map so across this big building keep going across until you come to the edge and then there's going to be like a a little strut a little kind of a little metal kind of pole kind of thing sticking out that we're going to we're aiming to get on but before we get to that i'm going to jump on this structure you'll see me shoot it here we're going to jump on that and then when you land on it turn round because we're going to drop down onto this structure and then we're going to look for the pipe so because i'm on the hunter uh, i'm just going to jump to the edge of this so i can see you'll see it just below us now you want to land on the on kind of the, the the end of it or close to the end now this area where you see me looking at now there's a little invisible hole you've got to jump through it's right close to that black kind of area but you can land here and stand there and jump through it there. Once you get through it, crouch, turn round and start creeping towards the end of this platform and you will drop down into the onto the platform. You're back inside the map now. You're back in the actual map. And the chest is two seconds in front of us. So make it across here and then do the same. Watch out for the windmill, the kind of rotating structures. They're not really windmills, but you know what I mean. Land on this bit here, make it across uh, to this main kind of platform. Now turn right, this kind of sh pl this kind of thing with the the dishes sticking off it. We're going to jump to that, and then there's there's little structures off hanging off the the platform, little platforms hanging off the main platform. Go to that. You'll see on the right there, there's a little walkway. Get to there, and there's your chest right in front of you. If you can do it on the Hunter, you can do it on the Titan, the Warlock, no problem. And there you go guys, you see the, the Spoils of Conquest, the 60 available, you need 240 to buy any of the exotics. And I really hope this helps people get the Anarchy, the Terror Bar, if you need the Aquarius, they're always on time. You get raid mods from it as well, and any 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 stuff you've earned doing the raid. Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope this helps, I hope you appreciate the video. If you think this is going to be helpful to other people, a share would be cool, a like would be even better. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.